Welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Åborg Fälsichas Orhell. This one is from Vinklorbroj, located in the town Amberg in Åborg Fälsen. It comes in this so-called NRW bottle, as you can see, very popular bottle shape in whole Germany. And um, Privat Brauerei Vinklor is actually one of the biggest breweries in the town of Amberg, which is having a few other breweries. For example, Bruckmüller and Kumlotbroj, which I've been reviewing from before. But um, Vinklorbroj. I look forward to this one a lot, and it's the uh, Alt Amberger Urhel that I'm choosing from this brew because I think it's a quite popular beer style from this brew. Um, it always is a very popular beer style, the Urhel. Uh, here you see the top crown cap of this, here you see the top label, and here you see the main label. Very really nice looking label, in my opinion. I always enjoy one. Well, it's this traditional look of the, of the label with the coat of arms from the brewery uh, from 1617. And the look of uh, of the brewery or look of the town, but really nice, easy looking, gives a great impression. This brewery. I'm gonna link to the brewery's website also in the description box below, of course. But this is giving a really nice impression. This uh, Winkler Brauerei, and uh, of course Urhel is uh, more like a historically uh, historically type of Helles beer compared to the normal Bavarian Helles. Vinklo, there is also other breweries in Bavaria with the name Vinklo, but this is the Vinklo boy from um, from uh, Amberg. And yeah, one last look of the label before I'm gonna open it up. It really, really looks nice in my opinion. So let's start with opening up the bottle of this Vinklo Uhel from Amberg, like that. And of course, the smoke is coming out. Let's uh, pour it up into the uh, for the beer cell, we are fitting glass, of course. Always important to use the right type of glass for the beer cell that you are enjoying. In this case, I think this glass fits really nice with uh, with the the, uh, the beer cell, as you can see. Looking nice with the foam head, like that. Two finger white foam crown, thick white foam crown, nice pale golden color of it, just the way it should be, with many small bubbles rising up. Looking fantastic. Uh, always important to build up foam head during the pouring because it unleashes the right aromas from the beer. Um, let's get the, the get the aroma also. Yeah, fantastic of course. Also maintain the foam head all the way through while you drink because it, it locks the right taste in the glass. Here you can, yeah, I think it might be possible to pour up everything at the same time. That's always important in my opinion also. Try to pour up everything. Of course I'm pouring up. Um, everything before I start to drink. One look of the label once again before we wait for the foam to sink down. Braustete site 1617, Alt Amberger Brautradition Winkler Premium, Alt Amberger Hell, Alt Amberger Urhell, Privet Brauerei Winkler, 9222 for Amberg, 4.8% volume, Zutaten Wasserikers Malz Hopfen, Gerät nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot von 1516, Original Brauerei Abfüllung, that's information on the label. With the bottle right here, meanwhile, a nice looking label uh, and nice looking bottle, which of course can look nice into my collection of bottles later on, which I'm having, of course, that's very interesting. So let's give it a try the Winkler Urhel from Amberg in Obfalz Post. Yeah. It's really something special, fantastic. Urhel has taste of it. Really, really refreshing and nice. This is a big recommendation, very high quality in my opinion. So, really hope that you can try it. I'm gonna give you some information also from this first website, which I'll of course link to in the description box below. Uh, it all began when the um, Weissbräu Gesellschaft acquired a property on May 7th, 1617, in the Oberen Nabugger Gasse, in order to build the brewery there in which the beers of the Winkelauber is still brewed today. The so-called White Brauhaus Amberg was structured like a modern stock corporation with, sh with shareholders, chairman, supervisory board and control bodies. 1617, Elector Friedrich V, better known as the Winter King, personally granted the brewing rights on October 26, 1617, thereby establishing our long brewing tradition. The brewing of wheat beer was explicitly included the Weissen und Ordnung, a special feature because at that time the Bavarian sovereign actually had the sole right to brew wheat beer. Through special taxes, this monopoly provided a large part of the income in the Bavarian state budget. This was possible because Amberg only belonged to Bavaria from 1620 
but the privilege remained after that and our brew house is probably the oldest private brewery uh, of wheat beer in Bavaria, uh, 17th to 19th centuries. The Weissgoy Gesellschaft had already developed into the largest brewery in Amberg by the middle of the 17th century. The wheat beers brewed there was, were almost popular nationwide. Every week, among other things, two beer chains with several barrels went to Nuremberg and the Duke of Württemberg, and soon more than half of Amberg's home owners were involved in the company. The economic success was huge over the several generations. In the record year 1649, after the 30 year war, the shareholders were paid a dividend of 113%, which is unimaginably high today. Only when the bottom fermented brown beer was increasingly drunk again in the 18th century, instead of the top fermented wheat beer, the um, picture slowly changed. But even after the end of the communal brewing rights of 1807, the brew house was still used cooperatively by several breweries and innkeepers. In the 21st century, the name was finally changed to Bilgelboy Amberg and of course I'm going to give you also the information from my books about uh, Bavarian Brewers with this book by Markus Raupasch and here you can see Bavarian Binkler in Amberg how it's looking like looking like this here you can see the location also in, in the uh, east western part of the uh, Oberpfalz uh, Urel with 4.8 it's a recommendation Bavarian Winkler GmbH Bavarian Winkler DE founded 1617 Schanzgästchen 6 Nine two to two for Amberg. That's the information on the on the book. But I think that's it for now. Hope you like my views and see you again in next of our review.